Hi, welcome to another video in a series of videos on IAM integration with the Autonomous Database. This one, we're going to talk about how to configure SQL CL to access the Autonomous Database from the OCI Cloud Shell. And the, you'll find the uh, Cloud Shell really makes things easy for us. All right, and just like before, we've got IAM. We've got a policy set to allow users to access uh, the Autonomous Database, the Autonomous Database. Is configured, it's enabled to access, uh, uh, to do integration with IAM for user authentication, and it's got the resource principle enabled. Now, when you start up the Cloud Shell, it automatically has SQL CL installed with the driver, OCI CLI, that command line tool, and uh, because this uh, Cloud Shell is running in your environment in OCI, it automatically uh, has a delegation token. This is your credential uh, for in the Cloud Shell, and that's what we're going to use to get the database token. When uh, when you run the DB token uh, command in OCA CLI, it will use a delegation token by default since it knows it's in the Cloud Shell. Request the DB token from IAM, and IAM will return the database token back to the OCI CLI. Then uh, CLI will put that into a file location. And uh, that uh, the SQL CL and the JDBC driver will know where to pick that up. When you log in with SQL CL using the slash login and a connect string that has that uh, token parameter and value, it'll or it'll pick up the database token from the file system, sign it with the private key, and pass it to the autonomous database. Since the user is already authenticated at this stage. The only thing the database has to do is it has to verify the DB token was from IAM. And it'll do that. And once that's done, it'll get the groups, as it has done in some of the other uh, authorizations, uh, for the user. The, the, these are the groups associated, IAM groups associated with the IAM user. To find out which schema and which global roles the user is mapped to. The user has to map to one schema in the database for this uh, access to uh, be successful. So again, you start uh, the Cloud Shell. Now there is a one-time configuration where you have to get the ADB wallet. Um, we've already done that with this, and I'll show you that. Then you get the DB token, start SQL CL, and set the environment for the wallet location, and then connect with the slash. Now, if, all right. I've already logged into my OCI uh, dashboard, and you can see uh, that's my tenancy. And so here's the, the button for Cloud Shell, for starting Cloud Shell. You just click on the button on the top right, you can see Cloud Shell starting at the bottom. Now, I don't need to look at anything else, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, maximize the Cloud Shell screen. If you haven't started Cloud Shell before, or you haven't used it in a while, it'll uh, it may take a minute to uh, uh, to attach itself to your cloud shell. Okay, now so I've already uh, got the wallet, and uh, you can see that my wallet iad.zip, and that's in the documentation how you can get a wallet in using OCI CLI to get the wallet from the autonomous database. That's also in my accompanying blog with this video. So what, you, what I need to do is now get the um, the database token using the delegation token that's already in the um, in this uh, cloud shell. See, I didn't have to install CLI, I didn't have to install uh, SQL CL, I didn't have to install or configure the delegation token. That was all done. So now the CLI uh, went to get the uh, private key and token from IAM, and it's telling me where it's written at and when the expiration for that is. I'm going to go ahead and log into SQL CL. <clears throat> and there's that. I got to tell SQL CL where uh, that wallet is. So I need to set the, uh, the variable um, environment uh, for the wallet. And there it's successful. Now I'm going to connect uh, the slash login. And you'll notice it's got the connect string. At the very end of the connect string, I have the token auth equals OCI token. 
that tells that JDBC driver to pick up the, um, the DB token, that OCI uh, written here, along with the private key, and signed it and sent to the Tiles database. And because I mapped to a shared schema, um, it, I was able to successfully connect to the database. Now let's take a look at uh, some of these uh, user end parameters. As a, as a current user, it's user shared. That's the schema that I landed in. That's because I'm a member of a group in IAM that maps to this user shared schema. I'm also a member of another group in IAM that maps to a, uh, a global role called Senior DBA Global Role. So uh, because uh, the Thomas Database got the group information, it knows which scheme I landed and which additional roles, uh, global roles I may have. <clears throat> now from authenticated identity, that turns out to be my IAM username. And enterprise identity, in uh, when you're working with uh, LDAP directory servers like Active Directory or OID or OUD, your enterprise identity is the, your DN from the LDAP directory. In this case, what I am, it's my OSID, my um, uh, OCI identification for the user. The authentication method is token global. If I use a password uh, access that instead of tokens and that would say password global but the, since I use token it's token global and because I'm also accessing this as a shared schema and not an exclusive map schema this comes in a shared global shared. that's it it's very easy using cloud shell to access the uh, autonomous database uh, from within the uh, cloud shell Thank you very much.